did pretty good. Okay, come on. Baby. Come on. Didn't they tell you that I was savage? savage. savage. Jersey. Previously with Peyton. When he hugged me, I want him to go, mmm. I want him to moan a little bit when he hugged me. I ain't lying, I really do. Can I talk to you and say what's on my mind? First, we will spray on Bakrat. Everywhere, yeah. That man put the man in manifest. That's it, that's all. I told y'all I'm a good girl. A lot of tech to test determined that was a lot. <laughs> the two Ottomans is it Ottoman or Ottoman? It says, Here's to protection, peace, and prosperity. Happy birthday, sis. PayPal J. If you haven't already, definitely go and check out those vlogs. They're super, super funny. And let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. What you slice open? Or Dallas, it's a little heavy. Dallas, oh yeah. Oh, baby, I just talked. I had to tell him, um, I, I, nah, I ain't gonna be able to dry this big ass truck, baby. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this. Mm-mm. Give me the Audi. I was supposed to get an Audi A5. Give me the Audi. I need the Audi. Uh, I want a small car. He he was so nice, though. He was so nice. He said, you know, we don't have any A5s. Uh, we just got an A3. I mean, I can, I don't know the difference. I just want a car. I don't I don't want a truck because um I can't drive this big old thing. I feel like not putting nothing in the universe but i feel, i feel I, i'm a little goofy when it comes to driving trucks okay i'm a little goofy things always happen when i drive trucks well not always but y'all know what i'm trying to say you know what i'm saying mishaps and shit like that because the car be so big and i'm like underestimating the size of the car now give me a little bit of car plus um hertz was out of uh tesla's they was um sold out of Tesla's so I'm gonna have to refuel this and it's gonna cost a lot of money it's gonna cost a lot of money to refuel this big ass truck now give me a give me a small car baby give me a sedan I don't, I don't want I don't want a truck but we're here in Chicago mm -hmm. um Karen's still at school so I am going to Get me something to eat at Batters and Berries because I'm starving, okay? And that's where I always eat for breakfast whenever I come. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to pop over to her school just to make sure everything is, like, situated with me, like, volunteering and stuff because, baby, times have changed. If my mama wanted to come on a field trip with me, all she had to do is have a visitor sticker. Baby, now you got to fill out an application to volunteer and I, I, I said wait a minute now so um <clears throat> I ain't chaperoning nobody daughter but mine now that's it because I I, I, I want to walk around the, the 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 park and get on some rides with her too I, I, I ain't gonna be watching nobody else cheerings because y'all cheerings is grown see my child is actually still a child y'all cheerings is grown It's been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Gone for a year, only wrote like once Back move fast and you do what you want Not this sounds doing what I want Doing what I want Doing what I want Doing what I want Hope you doing what you want What do you want? Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me, she too scary My old is fun like Jackie Brown yeah, you funny. <laughs> I wanna love her, she too down Will you be my 
leading lady. Bonjour, we are here in Sophie Tail, Chicago. This room is so nice. This is my first time staying here in this one. I've stayed in the Sophie Tail, Mexico City, and I loved that hotel. Y'all ever go to Mexico City when you know everything subsides? What's going on? But y'all ever go to Mexico City? Stay at the Sophie Tail, Mexico City. The rooftop pool, indoor pool is nothing short of amazing okay um but yeah we are here i'm on the seventh floor whatever 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 and um i just wanted to check in because i really had to use the bathroom <laughs> and it was closer than kyron's school so um i'm gonna give y'all a little tour of the room or whatnot i usually do the t my room tours on my phone but my phone just died so we're gonna try to get you the best quality on my phone um, and how I generally do my room tours. So we'll see what it's giving, but yeah, let me give y'all a room tour. So if y'all ever come to Chicago, y'all know what's tea at the Sophie Tail. Alright, so that is the tour. This is the classic room. So, um, I didn't really see when I was booking this on Expedia, I didn't really see double beds. That's why I got the king size bed. But Kyron's sleeping in bed with me so many, so much anyway. So, like, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? That's my baby. That's my best friend. So, yeah. Not carton water. Is this water? I think, yeah, this is water in a carton. That's awesome. I wonder what it tastes like. It probably tastes like the carton. This view, though, wow. Like, wow, wow, wow. This view is amazing. Um, I have to meet Karen at 4. Um, I think I'm, like, maybe 30 minutes away from her school. So, I'm just going to catch a vibe a little bit. Look at this view because this view is a freaking amazing, y'all. I got to show y'all this view again because, like, this chaise right here is just, like, mm, chef's kiss. It, like, needs to be here. And then I do have some work to do tonight when we get back from Six Flags. Child, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding, okay? When we come back to the room, I'm probably going to film a quick sponsorship. And then, um submit that and 
it's probably not gonna be approved until Monday anyway so I mean I have all weekend to edit I have all weekend to edit so whatever so I got these blazers from finish line and apparently my left foot is bigger than my right foot because I don't know the tip of my big toe keep on like rubbing up against the front of the shoe and it's getting on my nerves like it's giving me it's gonna bend my toe toenail but luckily this is an acrylic tip and she made it thick as fuck so the toe not bent now if this was my real toe nail oh baby that toe would be so bent up out of shape but because it's acrylic it ain't bent it ain't folded it's the it's, it's normal shape it is a little red though polo circulation Oh, I might get these shoes to Karen if she like them and buy me some other shoes because baby I ain't gonna be able to do this all weekend I ain't bring but one pair of tennis shoes I brought a little casual outfit just in case like Karen want to go to like dinner or something and get cute and then everything else is active where it says because it's hot in Chicago right now like I ain't been to Chicago in so long where it's hot outside girl I don't know how to ick <coughs> Baby, it is hot outside. I'm going to take this jacket off, okay? It's hot. It's in the 80s. Like, it's summertime in Chicago right now. Hey, we might be able to finally do... I've been wanting to do this ever since i seen the movie My Best Friend's Wedding because it's like one of my favorite Julia Roberts movies. We might finally be able to do the little boat. The little boat tour where you go under the bridge. Remember on the movie where she really wanted to tell him that she was in love with. She wanted to tell her best friend that she was in love with him. He was getting ready to marry Cameron Diaz. And they went under the bridge. And she just like. That part of the movie makes me cry every time I watch it. Because I was once in that place where I was in love with my best friend. And I felt like I couldn't tell him. So I had to watch him date all these other girls. Oh, baby, that was a long time ago. I don't even know who that best friend is now because he probably ain't. I, I don't think he's in my life anymore. Who was it? Oh, my polar memory so terrible. I don't even remember who the hell the best friend was. <laughs> Y'all, look at Cameron New Grove. This is insane. Wow. Baby, your hair grows so fast. That's why you've been wearing it up like this. Cause it's been growing so fast. You've been washing it and keeping and greasing your scalp. Yeah. And if I don't wipe my face right now, I am going to get a breakout. Cause baby, one thing about me, I'm gonna produce some sebum. If my spirit don't do nothing else, it's gonna produce some sebum. Should I wear this because I had planned on wearing like a hoodie with uh bacteria on it, but I don't know about that now though, because wearing a hoodie with that say bacteria on it, even though I love it, and we all are made up of bacteria. I don't know about it because Baby, I don't want to have to beat nobody kid behind. I don't want to have to do it. Why Karen just tell me I can't get on no rides because I'll get sick? Is the expert in talking about care. Our smile perfecting clear aligner treatments are faster. Talking about, uh, Mom, I don't want you to get on any rides because you're going to get sick. So you should just sit, you should just sit down and wait till I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so basically the roles have officially reversed. The roles have officially reversed. Like, she's all concerned because I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I do be getting like, your girl got vertigo. I do get nauseous, like nausea spills. 
a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, anyway, now we're headed up to the school. Uh oh. How do y'all feel? A little stroll, look. a little family stroll. He's funny. He's definitely gonna be a hey. police officer when he gets older. Um. Don't do this to me. Yep. Is Angel gonna be able to go to Six Flags or is she not coming? Hey, hey honey, you going to Six Flags? I don't know. No? I don't know. Oh, okay. That song makes you think about Grandma? Yeah. Yeah. We were just listening to It Must Have Been Love from um, the Pretty Woman soundtrack. Lay a winter on my pillow. How do words go? Hold on. It sounds like a frog up in here. It smells like a frog. <laughs> Lay a whisper on my pillow. Leave the winter on the ground. I wake up lonely. This air of silence in the bedroom and all around. Touch me now. I close my eyes and dream away. It must have been love, but it's over now. It must have been good, but I lost it somehow. Woo! I think I lost my tan, y'all. I think my tan is completely gone now. But that's okay. It's going to come back. So, um, we're here waiting on the buses to arrive. I'm not exactly sure where they will come. We may have to drive around, Karen. But I think they're going to come on this side. I think. And can we talk about um, AI and Siri? Like, Siri getting out of hand. I had to change my Siri from an American girl to a South African girl because I hit up Siri and I'm like, hey Siri, she gonna say, mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, nah, baby, that's not how you address me. When I talk to you, when, when I say, hey Siri, you need to say, hi Peyton, how are you today? How can I help you? Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Very computer-like. Don't be like, no, mm-hmm. Like, damn, am I bothering you? you? Do you got a lot to do today? I mean, I know it's a lot of people calling your name, but bitch, you work for me. <laughs> I'm like, am I bothering you? So I had to change her from an American girl to a South African girl, and me and her been getting along real well today. I will say that. But AI is getting out of hand. For real. Y'all think AI don't got personality? They got personality. And I'll be the first one to say it if I'm not the first one to say it. AI have personality. Mom, it's 8 o'clock. I think we starting to get, get on their nerves. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Okay, so I don't, I don't know where the bus is at. Do you think they're going to be on the other side? Let's, let me drive around and see if they're on the other side. Take it to the paint. Take it to the rim. You look good on camera, baby. Let's go make a film. Do I leave no horseshoe? I'm in the bank to get toward you. I'm in New York on John Chetri. Supermodels in the all sex. It is a lot of school buses up here. What? And nothing? It is a lot of school buses up here. All right, we got it. We about to head inside, and I already got to use the freaking bathroom. Ugh, what is going on with my bladder? Okay, so we're about to go inside. Um, why did I bring this bag? Why did I bring this purse? Oh my god. Um, Cameron, can I put my wallet in your fanny pack? Oh uh, yeah. And whenever you get on a ride, if you want to just. If I don't get on the ride with you, then I'll just hold your fanny pack. And I don't, because I don't want to take this freaking whole purse. It's kind of heavy. Oh, but shit, I got these keys too. Oh. Uh -huh. 
world but the Memphis Grizzlies lost. But we got, but we, but we got John Moran to ride with us tonight, y'all. Well, let's see here. We got a lot of high schools on here tonight. So we got North Side and South as I have Sullivan in the house. Good morning, good morning. Y'all, look what I got from the corner store across the street from Cabin School. Super donuts. Bro, I ain't had these ever since I was a kid. Like, I ain't literally, I have not had these since I was in middle school. I mean, elementary school. Definitely needs to be microwave, but whatever. Yeah, it didn't taste like this when I was little. Damn, I bought four of these damn donuts. This tastes funny. Tastes like paint and wood. Man, why do shit taste different? When I tell you I used to fuck these up in school. Why do shit taste different when you get old? I don't like this. This whole retrograde just been just been out to get me, just been out to make me feel real old. Like I, right. shit. www.superdonut.com. I'm about to I'm about to email them. I'm about to contact them and say, let them know. Hey, this don't taste like how it tasted when I was ten. This is not the same donut from thirty years ago. Just ruin my plans. Just ruin. Ooh, wait. you know what? Today gonna be a good day anyway. Okay, let's talk about last night. We only rode two rides. The lines were long as hell. Not too long where it had to wrap around them little things. But it was still very much long. We only rode two rides because the first two roller coasters that we picked, Karen tapped out. It was not me. I promise you, baby. I was sticking through there and my feet was hurting. I'm gonna have to go ahead and... um. Kyron, try on them blazers and see if you like them. If you like them, you can have them. I'm going to have to buy me some new shoes while we're here because, yeah, mm, I'm definitely not going to be able to walk around all weekend in those blazers. My left toe seems to be, uh, my left big toe seems to be a little longer than my right big toe. And, yeah, those shoes are not comfortable. Great, probably great for walking, like, working out in, but walking around in, nah, they're not comfortable, baby. I need me some dunks. Or some Jordans or some Air Force Ones. I can't walk around in those shoes, no ma'am. But they are so cute with active wear sets. Anyway, um, my feet were hurting, my back was hurting, and I was pushing through. Okay, if Kyron wanted to stay, we would have stayed. But we ended up walking out of there at twelve forty-nine, and I said that we were only gonna stay thirty minutes. We stayed an hour and forty-five. We were walking out. We I looked at the clock and we were walking out. I just knew it was like. 1 30 it, it just seemed like we had been there forever we walked out at 12 49 so um we walked rode two rides and then karen we were getting ready to go to the raging bull and karen saw that drop and she was like i don't want to do it now nah, mama i don't want to go do it and i was like why and she was like because i don't like that drop and when i tell y'all i had deja vu i had it was like i had deja vu but like Karen is my daughter because I've done that before. I was at Six Flags and I was in the line and I really wasn't paying attention to the ride. And like we was almost at the front. And when I saw that drop, I was like, 
oh no i'm not gonna be able to do it i literally walked back through the line and like everybody was laughing because it was so funny but baby i could not do it and it was at great america the last time i went to great america it probably was the same freaking ride that i didn't want to because that drop that raging bull drop it's a drop okay when we were on the max force i held i had my eyes closed the entire time i didn't see anything all i saw was all i felt was the force of the ride but i didn't see anything i had my eyes closed the entire time and i'd like to think that i addressed my fear of heights when i was in turkey when i did the parasailing and the paragliding i like to think that i addressed my fear of heights but roller coasters is a different bio game okay it's different from being up in the sky and you're like the winds are calm and stuff like that roller coasters is a different bio game so i had my eyes closed the entire time i still did it but had the eyes closed now the second roller coaster i actually the second roller coaster reminded me of zipping pippin it, it it really wasn't that bad but Kyron was scared because they make you if you the taller person or the bigger person they make you get in the front in the back of the person so it's kind of like she was in my lap so i feel like that kind of scared her a little bit more she was screaming and everything child the funniest shit in the world i i pulled we pulled back up with tears coming out my eyes because karen making me laugh so hard the way she's screaming you you are funny Look at that baby face. Look at that baby face. You got the same baby face you had when I, I went and um, got your pictures taken when you was like, I want to say three or four months. You literally got the same baby face. So on today's agenda, y'all, we getting ready to go and get her nails done. And somebody send me some nails for you. Where's that, Mom? I left them at home. I'm sorry. They press on nails, though, so they're, they'll be in your room, on your bed. I cleaned your room up, and they on your bed, so when you come home, they'll be right there. So if you if you want to, like, put them on whenever you want to, whenever you want your nails done. They real cute, too. It's a French manicure. Cameron said she want her nails like mine today. It's a French manicure with, like, rhinestones all over them. They so, so cute. They're so, so cute. So when you come home, I'll do your nails. We have like a spa day and I'll do your nails that day. They they last like two weeks and then we can go get your nails done. But we're going to go look at prom dresses today. Karen already picked her prom dress. Um, It looks a lot. So it's, it's kind of like that blue one that I showed y'all um, a few vlogs ago. But it's, it's funny because she wants it in black. So it looks a lot like Rochelle's um wedding dress that she had it's so so pretty but i haven't ordered it yet i'm gonna order it if we don't find something in store today because i don't know i have a little little bit of reservations about ordering a prom dress online plus karen is super small so um i think it's probably best if we try something on in store just to get a good idea of like what's her size and um maybe they can like tailor it in store and it'll be ready before prom but yeah we're gonna go and try on some dresses today you excited i want to do they have a terry costa here so yeah that's the day and i definitely want to do the um the boat ride so let's get ready you ready to get ready yeah okay so last month we were synced up but this month i came on before you and i'm getting ready to go off and you getting ready to come on so I got you some pampering. I don't really know how this works because I always take Motrin and Motrin just. But I bought you I brought you Motrin too. But let's see let's see how this pampering do because Motrin don't seem to work for you when um I give it to you. Who? <clears throat> you. The um. This one fan? this one has is aspirin and camp caffeine free. I don't know how many. I guess you take two. Here. And this is for you. So every time you feel a rumble in the jungle, just take two. Okay? Can you open this for me, Mom? There you go. 
Cameron, you got two fan you got a fanny pack and a fanny pack. You are funny. You are hilarious. Alright. I know, well, it's gonna stop hurting in a minute, but you need to go and get out the shower now. I mean, get in the shower now. Oh my god. I ain't had a pineapple fountain in so long. Alright, come on, chop chop. Okay, we got some room service here, some french fries, some sweet and spicy wings, those look yummy, and I got a burger and some fries. I should have ordered that. Mm. 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 So good. Karen, your wings are fire. I just ate one. I ate some. I forced Gump said when he uh gave Jenny her chocolates. I ate some. Burger. It's good, but it's not better than Burger Street. All right, Miss Dazzer, you ready to go? Yeah. You ready to go, Miss Dazzer? Miss Dazzer? So I'm um, today. I'm wearing platinum leather. This is by Carolina Herrera. This is one of their um, Middle Eastern lines. So you can only get this one in Middle Eastern countries. I actually picked this up in Maldives Airport. What they say you can get them in probably Doha, maybe Qatar. Um, um, I mean in Dubai as well. But oh, this is so good. So good, y'all. So good. And I mixed it with a little bit of my oil that I made with it, Amir Oud. Heaven. Smells so good. I smell amazing. Got me spray on some perfume, honey, honey. Tyra? Yeah. Miss Kyra? Yeah. You spray on some perk perfume? No. You want some? Yeah. I hope we're gonna make me dizzy. Girl, you can put on Blanche Bet. Blanche Bet. Put it right there. Bam, bam, bam. Shouldn't make you dizzy. It shouldn't. Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. Outfit of the day. Very simple, very light. We smell good. Welcome. We're gonna go to lunch and then go look at dresses. I've been seeing a lot of prom people in this hotel too. All right, we are here at Egg Harbor Cafe. Hey, how are you doing, good? You good? I'm Ingrid. I'll be your server today. Drug on the specials here for y'all. Okay. Shirley Temple. That's true. I'm not sure. I do not think that we have accredited right now. Do you want just like a Sprite? Just a regular Sprite? They got strawberry lemonade, Karen. 
This is a hundred dollars. I want the mom also. Sounds good. Let me get those drinks out for you guys. Alright, thank you. It's hot today. Look at the mom also. It's Tito's handmade vodka, risotto moscato, Diasti, house-made strawberry lemonade, and pink cocktail shimmer powder. Wow. That mimosa sounds amazing. Oh, they got a lobster scrambler. Dang. Oh, they got shrimp and grits, Cameron. They got shrimp, shrimp and grits. Huh? You want shrimp and grits? Okay, and a side of bacon. Boy, I can't lie, I miss you You and the music were the only thing that I commit to I never cheated for the record back when I was with you But you believed in everything but me, boy, I don't get you He says I know you changed I never see you cause you're always busy doing things Me and neighbors respect you Trouble neglect you Angels protect you Whoa Alright we are here at Peach's Boutique. Put a look at some prom dresses. After you, madame. So now we're gonna get Karen uh her nails and her toes done. Mine already done, so I'm just gonna sit off to the side and do 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 do. Not accept Apple Pay or Zelle. But what the hell? Wait, it clearly says open. Ah oh, shit, it's Sunday. Karen, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get your nails done unless we go in a mall. The mall getting ready to close. Mall, mall's closing. In 50 minutes. Oh. I don't know, baby. Let me see if I can find some clothes. Okay, so we have these number. They were getting ready to close their seats. I swear, every time I come to Chicago, I feel like we go through this. Okay, here's one that's six minutes away. Starting route to Midway Nail Spa. Let's see what. Proceed let's to see. South Central Avenue. Then turn right. South Central. 
Alright, it looks like we're gonna be able to get her nails and her feet done. Thank you, Lord. I'm so spoiled. That spoiled princess. Hmm. How you want your hair for prom? You want it down? Curly. Curly. You got the prettiest hands. You wanna go bowling tonight? It'll be your first time bowling? Yeah, I'm gonna take a bowling. It's a bowling alley near us. This looks really cool. I ain't been bowling in a while and you have never been bowling, so we'll go do this. Do some fun before school tomorrow. Okay. Are you excited about your dress? Yes. Yeah, this dress is like, as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh my God, I love this dress. And she fell in love with it. It was a little pricey, but so worth it. You might can convert it into to your wedding dress somehow. I don't know. Not. All right, we out here in these Chicago streets. It's chilly tonight. I said, "Damn, it's cold." Again? Should it feel like it's in the 50s right now? Come on, <laughs> we fit to go bowling. Oh, I look oily. So we weren't able to go to Lucky Strike because after 8 you have to be 21 to get in. Like, what? Whatever. So, about to get something to eat. Maybe after that, catch a movie. Depends on what Karen says she wants to see a movie stuff. So maybe we'll catch a movie after we eat. Ugh, this, this trip just didn't go as planned, child. <laughs> But we did get your we did get your prom dress. Yes, we did. Thank you. We are here at New Japanese Fusion Lounge. Me and Karen love us some Asian food, so I saw it and I was like, yeah, right up my alley, right up our alley. Let me see. It looked like sweet and sour. It looked like sweet and sour chicken. When he come, ask him. You are grown up. I want a mocktail. I wonder what mocktails they get. Non-alcoholic. Okay, they got a virgin mojito, raspberry, and coconut. Ooh, that sounds good. And they got a yuzu strawberry cow pico. You want a mocktail? Or well, you want to share this in? You want a mocktail? Hello. Why the hell are you asking? It's not alcohol. Hey, how you doing? I got Gavin. Let's talk to Gavin. Are these money to order over here? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah? We're ready. Uh, what kind of good for you? She wants the chicken, Japanese fried rice. Chicken fried rice? Uh huh. I want the sweet and sour chicken. Thai sweet and sour chicken? Yeah, it comes with what? Steamed rice? With the uh, white rice? Okay. <laughs> um, can I get the virgin mojito raspberry? Virgin raspberry? Uh huh. And then she wants a Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple? Yeah. Virgin Raspberry Mojito? Yo, these mocktails be busting. Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy. I 
not exactly something I want to see. Can't get enough of America's number one movie now theater membership. AMC Stubbs A List. left lane to turn onto East Chicago Avenue. Then turn right onto North Lake Shore Drive. Okay, so we are back at the room. The movie was good. Um, I wasn't paying like attention to it the whole time, but I did watch a little bit of it and it was actually pretty good. Like I'm, I'm willing to watch Galaxy 1, I mean Guardian of the Galaxy 1 and 2 to kind of understand like what was going on, but we just watched part three and it was pretty good so I'm, I'm about to wax Kyron's um underarms I have this Glee caramel body wax that I picked up from Walgreens yesterday um if y'all are new to my channel then y'all don't know this but me and Karen have attempted to wax her underarms before and you got on a brown of this okay you can go ahead and take that off we have attempted to wax her underarms before and um, it was a bit of a struggle, but we were able to get it done. Um, so I'm hoping that this is an easy process because this is our first time doing it. But it says you don't need to heat up the wax to make sure, make sure the skin is clean, dry, and ready to get smooth. So this one comes with strips. It's not hard wax like the first time I waxed her underarms. It's uh, strips because honestly that's all they had in the in wild brain. So I'm going to pull out two strips. And then you get six wipes. So I'm going to use one wipe. And like I said, these are in wild grains and it comes with three spatulas. So we're only going to have to use one spatula and this is the caramel wax. So let me see your arms. Okay. So we're going to take some of the wax. That's what it looks like. And you don't have to heat it up. I'm going to take some of the wax. Arms up, please. Keep your arms up. Okay, ready? Ready? Yes. One, no. two. Oh, Lord. Okay. We well, a big girl, right? Mm-hmm. That did pretty good. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. Don't touch it. Leave your arm up. The yama could be still gotta get some more. Okay. Kara. Okay, mom. Okay. See, you don't set up there and touch it. Now it's all on your hand. Don't touch it. You hurt? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Keep your arm up, babe. Arm up. Good morning, good morning. So I have just dropped Karen off at school. Um, I'll be back in a few weeks because she has her senior luncheon and I bought tickets for me to um, go with her because parents are invited to that. This was a good trip. It just, it didn't go as planned because um, Kyron got her cycle and um, she cramps bad and that first day she just Kyron be in a mood baby she don't like to she don't like to do nothing she don't like to do nothing okay I used to be like that when I was her age I used to cramp real bad and the first day was just like absolutely terrible so um yeah we didn't get to do everything that we wanted to do I wanted to take her bowling and do the boat ride and yeah, but we did do what we came to do, and that was um, go to grad night with her, and we had a we had a ball, and then um, get her prom dress. 
So, in her prom dress, y'all, oh my God, so beautiful. So beautiful. This is native deodorant. I know y'all like dog pay. You using a lot. Baby, you gotta use a lot. Shit. You wanna be musty or you be, wanna be. You wanna smell good or you wanna be musty? If it's an area on your body that can get an odor, baby, I put deodorant there. Okay? Hello. Yeah. I'm in New York and you're on Long Island. I don't even treat you that good, girl. Why you smiling? It's three in the morning. Why are you driving? Why are you stopping for gas to get on the highway? Just to end up in my place. All right, we are headed to the airport. I'm not going home. I'm actually getting ready to go somewhere else. You'll see in the next vlog. Um, but let me give y'all a review on this Audi A4. I don't like it. Okay, so it's not a fast car. For it to be Audi, it's not a fast car. I like fast cars. I thought Audi was a fast car, but it's this isn't a fast car. Um, it takes a while to like speed up. Like you, if you hit the light, it takes a while to get to. I'm gonna say 60 miles per hour. It's definitely not like 2.8, 3.1 like my car or the Tesla. It take a little minute to get on up there. Um, what I do like about it though is that the seatbelt dinger doesn't go off. Like when you don't have your seatbelt on, um, it doesn't blue, blue, blue like other cars. Like if you don't have it on, it's like it's cool. I don't know if that's like against the law or whatever because I thought all cars were supposed to do that but the Audi doesn't do that um the leather in the car the leather on the seats it feels different it's not like the same type of leather as the BMW leather like this leather is like hmm I don't know it's a different leather the steering wheel I don't know it's the leather on the steering wheel is different the gear shift is huge and you'll get confused um because it's just it's, it's just different it's just a different feel to the car the drive is okay it's not extremely smooth like my car um but it is a better and a smoother ride than the tesla so overall i will give the audi a4 and i think that this is a 2022 it could possibly be a 2023 i'm not sure um i think it's a 2022 I'm going to give this car on a scale from 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a 7. The body style is for it to be a, a newer car. I feel like the body style should be just a little bit more updated. Um, but I will say it has the lane assist. It has a digital dash. It has the huge tablet on the dashboard. I just feel like it should be just a little bit more double, uh, updated. But it is push to start. Um, and it's, it, it's an overall nice car. So I'm going to give it a 6 on a scale from 1 to 10. 43 feet. So yeah, now, oh lord, I need to go get over there. Sure, I got to pay attention because Siri don't be fucking with me like this. She don't be letting me know like she's supposed to let me know, honey. So, um, okay, so update on, um, you know the date and all of that i was debating whether or not i really wanted to like talk about this in my vlog because woo child y'all see me go through some dating woes honey but that's just that's just the tea that's just the tea that's just how my vlog is like i'm not in a relationship and i am dating so you know i'm gonna have a couple of woes honey i'm gonna, I'm gonna have a couple of woes so um I really like the young, the young man that I went on a date with, but we, it, it turned out to be that there is a huge age gap. I didn't know until the date. Um, I honestly didn't have a problem with it because of how he carries himself. Um, I think that he's an exquisite man, and I talked about this on my live. I've been going live a lot lately um, on Instagram, and I talked about it on my live. I think he's an exquisite young man. Like, oh my God. Um, 
so well versed um, and well spoken. Like he dresses well, smells good, looks good, speaks well. Like I couldn't ask for anything more. Like in my honest opinion, it wasn't the age, but for him, his concern was he'll eventually want kids. And it seems like he's dating intentionally like myself, um, which is great. He, he definitely seems like a great person and a good man, um, but he, he will want kids um, in the next five to seven years. Honestly, that made me feel old because that was his concern for me being my age in the next five to seven years like will I want kids and will I be able to have kids and honestly it made me feel really insecure about my age and I've never really felt insecure about my age before um, dating anyone I don't know if this is like a midlife crisis thing that I'm going through but that like pushed me into a really deep depression for about two or three days and um, I won't say like I'm completely out of it just being like 100 with y'all and being honest with y'all I won't say that I'm completely out of it but um, in the next week or two I, I know I'll feel better you know it is what it is um, when I slid in his DM I did not know that he was 28 so um, it was a learning lesson and baby I ain't gonna be doing no more sliding I ain't, but I'm not switching sliding nope I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Come to me. Come, I'm going to pray for you and you come to me. I'm going to pray that you come to me. That's about it. Because, yeah, I ain't, I ain't sliding in nobody else DM. But, yeah, that's how that goes. So, I just wanted to update y'all so y'all won't be asking. So, what's tea? What's going on with Mr. Sir? Mr. Sir is just it's, it's not going to work. So, um, I did let him know yesterday that I think it's best if I um fall back and move out the way for someone that's closer to his age because he'll eventually want kids and not to say i wouldn't give him kids but you know to talk about something right now so early and it's we talking about five to seven years from now i think that that is um i think that's big for him to like um share that with me but also it made me feel uncomfortable like um is it possible for us to have something real and I, I don't want to be the older jump off that you just call when you know what I'm saying you want to get your rocks off like I'm dating intentionally like I, I feel like I've worked on myself for the past five years um, I've healed a lot of the things that kept me from wanting to commit to someone so now I feel like I'm ready you know what I'm saying after I got my chakra balance and curious out I feel like I'm ready I feel like that is something that I lack um, in in my personal relationships is love and I want to try out love again so yeah I was just upfront I was gonna ghost them I ain't gonna lie baby I was totally gonna ghost sir I was gonna ghost I was headed into Y'all know me, baby. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. When it comes to, when it comes to me and dating, baby, I will ghost you. But I feel like, you know, paying you 40 now, you know, as player as you are, I think, I think that the, the, the mature route to take is to just go ahead and just let a person know how you feel and wash your hands with it. You don't have to ghost everybody. Now, somebody, some people just going to get ghosted and that's just what it is. Everybody, everybody don't you don't owe everybody an explanation but him i respect him so much um i didn't want to do that to him i didn't want to do that to him because you burn a lot of bridges when you ghost people and i do feel like even if we can't have anything special we can still have a great long-lasting friendship which probably is is better anyway honey because my male friendships last a really really long time and all my male friends love me honestly i feel like i'm gonna end up with somebody i done already been with anyway so yeah let me go ahead and save you for later how about it